Hey guys, so we're here at Universal Studios for Hollywood Horror Nights. It's really, really loud because you guys have a chainsaw. I love the way that smells. Right, and the smell is nice. But we're going to be showing you guys uh, basically everything we can. So we're going to show you guys mazes, shows, the scare floor, like uh, oh the my scare god. zone. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's the first scream like a girl for me. So we're going to go show you guys now. What happened? What? What? What are you going to do? I did scream. I was like, ah! Well, we're going to go show you guys what they have now, and I'm really excited, but also really scared because I'm a huge baby. We got our badges, so we're in. We're good to go. Yes. I think it's time now to get the night started. Can I go get scared? Let's see how many times Chris screams like a little baby. <laughs> Let's go, guys. It's going to happen. Oh, God. Here he comes. All right, baby. You're going <laughs> to... You're going to lead the way, right? You're leading the way? Okay. Look at these wings! Oh, that's so cool! Wow, look at this! That's demons. awesome! So this is the first photo op we saw walking in. It's on the left-hand side. Man, these things are massive! Wow. Oh my, those wings are so sick though! Here's a quick little look of the map right here, guys. So, I think we are... Oh yeah, we're right here. Yeah. And then we're gonna go through here. So the orange, I believe, is a scare zone. And uh, yeah, so scare mm -hmm. zones. And guys, we just want to preface this real quick. We... Oh my gosh! We do not know almost anything about Horror no. Nights, so we don't know things about the mazes. Well, this is my first time. <laughs> this is my first time here. I've never experienced Halloween. It's your first time here? This is my first time here. I've never, ever, ever done a Horror Nights before. Oh, wow. So I've, done I've only done it once. Farm, like 12 times. Really? I don't know. I've been on Scary Farm more than I want to admit. Okay. But I've never done Universal. Okay. So this is really fun. Back to the map. I so, want to do Stranger Things. Stranger Things. M5. I um, wait. All the way down here where Transformers is. Oh, man. Like downstairs. All right, you know what? Let's just go in order. So let's do House of a Thousand Corpses first. That person looks like they're falling asleep. They're not. They're waiting to pour out down and scare somebody. Man, it has been so long since that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax there, all right? This evening. It's been so long. I think House of a Thousand Corpses is actually this way by Waterworld. Okay. Imagine if they had a Spongebob horror night. A demon Spongebob? Uh, they, it would be Doodle Bob. <laughs> well, what, what was that? Me <laughs> oh yeah, so House of a Thousand Corpses is right here. So we're going to show you guys the wait time for how it is right here for us. We actually were invited by Universal Studios, so we actually have front of the line access. So that you guys see the reason why we're able to do all these mazes is because we technically don't have to wait in line. We are now walking into House of a Thousand Corpses, and I don't even know what to expect. Are you ready? No, definitely not. <laughs> We're heading in. Chris is going first. The scaredy cat. I'm probably gonna end up screaming too, though. <laughs> You did it, Bob! 
Are you okay? You did it. Good job. I think I might have lost a couple lives off Are my Are you kidding me? I think I jumped of, twice. I think I might have lost a couple years off my life. But um, we got wet right now. Yeah. What did he spray? Water? I hope what? so. He got him over the camera. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. That was a. Uh, that was something, all right. So maze number one. Done. Wait. <laughs> Check. So that was our first maze, House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, I just want to say. That was pretty scary. I was pretty scared. It reminded me, like, it was basically play for play, scene by scene of the movie. Have you ever seen the movie? No. Uh -uh. The movie is gruesome. It is yeah, it was, evil. I was just it saying, is like it's really gruesome. Yeah, it but was, it was awesome. What's funny is I don't I don't know if we posted it in the in the actual vlog, but Rob Zombie was outside the actual uh, maze doing an interview when we passed by. Yep. So we got to see him as we walked in, but. I really liked the maze. I thought it was really cool. It, paid, it definitely paid homage to the movie. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it scared me. Tons of jump scares. Yes. Um, Chris screaming scared me, but nonetheless, like, even that, all of the characters, like, I got scared. Even though I might have not shown it as much, uh, it, they did get me. <laughs> all right, on to the next maze. So, you guys just missed it, but I literally got so scared right now because one of the uh, monsters decided to jump in front of me. We're taking pictures now. Taking pictures with our with our new friends. You have an Instagram account? Oh god, maybe not! Our second maze of the night is Holidays in Hell. It's an original maze from Universal Studios. I'm really excited. I think I saw Santa Claus. Yeah, there's Santa Claus. I think I saw the Easter Bunny. Maybe the Krampus is gonna unless that is unless, unless that is the Krampus right there. You can barely, I don't think you can see it on here, but there's a Krampus I think on the right side. Oh, and there's there's Uncle what's Sam. What's what's behind me? Oh god. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> he looks like he can use some night cream. He looks like he can use something to eat. Your brains. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Ooh, I want a drink.
Los Krampus. It's the Krampus. The thing that you're supposed to look at, I was like, oh, look at that. And I just saw a hand just like reach out in front of me and almost like pick my nose, basically. Reach out and touch me. Basically, that's what it almost <laughs> did. But I really liked it just because it went through all the holidays and all yeah. the holidays were just all corrupt and evil and gross. Like Thanksgiving, and, I was like, oh, yeah. That, wow. I, that, that man that was an actual turkey, like on the table, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know if I can ever eat turkey again. That was, uh, that was something I wasn't expecting. But as far as the maze, I thought it was pretty cool. A lot of a lot of cool effects yeah. to make you pay attention to one spot. But definitely then, not the scariest. No, not well so far. Yeah. Uh, makes you pay attention to one spot, and then all of a sudden you get a scare on the other spot. So yeah. make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings for sure on this one. Okay, let's go ahead and walk through another scare zone. We did this one earlier, and there's like these really big things with stilts. Oh, there it is. It's all the way back there. Oh my God. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, you see? Look, look at it. Look at it. Those things are so creepy. Oh, so that's where they have the Walking Dead stuff right here. We are about to do the AMC's Walking Dead, a walkthrough attraction maze. You ready, Bucks? I don't like zombies. It's like the end of the world. Feels really nice in here. Nice Air conditioning. Somebody needs to clean. Uh oh. Don't open. Dead inside. We just finished with the maze. Sadly, we were not able to film. That's the only maze throughout the entire event that you cannot film inside. We wanted to obey the rules. Yeah. So there was no filming to be have done. Yeah. But I have to admit, that was pretty scary sometimes. Like, it, was, it wasn't like the worst. I'd say there was a lot of suspense. Like, because you're like, oh, I see something there, but is that real? And then yeah. all of a sudden, something pokes its head out and it gets, like, it gets you. Right. So I think so far, The Walking Dead's like a middle ground. The first one, definitely the scariest. Yes. And then the Christmas, holidays, and hell, the least scary. I would say this one kind of scared me the most so far, and it's weird because you can actually come to this attraction or this like walkthrough attraction anytime at Universal. You don't actually have to come only during Horror Nights. Right. So I was actually glad we did that one. We were actually going to save that one for last, but we did it right now because we were in the area. I'm actually glad we did it. So I think it's time for us to keep on trucking along and see what other things we can find, what other creatures are going to scare us, and what other bases we can go on. All right, let's get out of this area because this is a scare zone. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're currently walking through Simpsons Land and it's definitely happy. definitely not scary whatsoever. It's more uh Simpson-y and happy and and all that. Oh look at see? You know why there was no line at uh The Walking Dead? Why? Because everybody's in line to get a beer. A duff beer? A duff beer. <laughs> we're gonna go to us now and we're gonna go to Pandora's box. The split has come. So we have us and the curse of Pandora's box. I think we're gonna do us first, and then Pandora's right, right, right. What? Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs>
was a very hot one. Our review coming up next. Okay, everybody, we just finished Jordan Peele's Us, Us Maze. Us was in And Us. I have to say that, granted, we have to do a disclaimer, we haven't seen the movie, yeah. so. We have to put it out there, because then people are going to say that you guys didn't watch the movie, but we know we didn't watch the movie. We know we didn't watch the movie, we don't have time to watch the movie. Yeah, sadly. But we didn't, I, know, I mean, I got some of it, but I don't know if we didn't get it, it just wasn't scary. Yeah, there was very, very like minimal parts where I was actually scared. I think there was only two because I didn't realize that I was an actual like actor. I thought it was just a dummy. Yeah. But that maze is actually very, very dark, like very dark. So it's hard to see a lot. Yeah. There was a room that we walked in where they had a bunch of mannequins and they had one person that was like the like the, the actor, you know? Mm -hmm. And you couldn't even see him because it was yeah. so dark. Like, you felt you, him though. You felt his breath or you just felt him rub against you, but like. Maybe that's like the aesthetic. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe. Anyways, we're gonna go on Pandora's box now. That's the second maze in this area. Yep. Hopefully that one's a little bit scarier because right now I, that left me feeling a little underwhelmed. Yeah, uh, people were walking out of Pandora's box saying that it was really scary, so I'm pretty excited to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> You're not scary, Hannah. All right, let's go. Okay, Murphy. Do you have any idea what to expect for this one? None. None? No. All I know is people say don't open Pandora's box. Yeah, because then... So is her box going to be open? I'm pretty sure. That's I think that's the whole thing. That's the whole like, issue. All right, well, we're going to find out. Ooh, this is cool. There was a lot of light to see like where you were actually walking yeah. and to actually like appreciate like all of the monsters and all of the Everything. figurines and you decorations. Can see stuff. You could see it. And then I just like it because like I, I guess yeah, you could see their faces. Yeah, you could see what's actually scaring you. It was, yeah, it was more interactive. That Medusa's head Whoa. looking thing. I hope you I hope you guys are scary. able to see that. That was that, cool. When I first saw it, I kind of like saw it through the little like flaps because I was walking through. Me too. But I was like, oh I hope Ashley gets that. So I guess but you got it first. 
No, well, I kind of got it okay. behind somebody. Oh, yeah. Okay. But regardless, yeah. we're hoping all the stuff that we're able to see with our eyes, you guys get to see too. I hope so. Yeah, but yeah. honestly, Pandora's box or the Curse of Pandora's box was number one fave so, so far. So far, that was the best one, and I am so happy that we went on that one. Honestly. Me too. But I think it's time for us to go. Get some food. Oh man, it's a full on rave over here. Look at this. I think I'm just gonna stay here for the rest of the night, guys. Sorry. <laughs> We finally decided that we're gonna grab some food from the Starcourt Mall from Stranger Things. We have no idea what they actually have. I'm assuming it's like a burger. Oh, Ashley's over here doing Instagram stories. <laughs> but I probably like burger, you know, the regular stuff they have. Regardless, we're hungry, so it's time to munch. All right, so this is what they have. They have Benny's Burger, Upside Down Burger, Demodog, Demogorgon Tachos, and a 23 inch Monster Chili Cheese Dog. And you know we are gonna get that right now. Look at this bad boy. So how many people have actually ate the whole thing in one sitting? Do you know? I don't know yet. All right. I'm only the fourth person? Oh wow, okay. Well that's a challenge, thank you. This is the Monster Chili Cheese Hot Dog. This thing is huge. 23 inches of hot dogness. Ashley said she's gonna do it all by herself. Yeah, come on. Look at this. All right. Oh, man. There we go with the light. It's a lot better. Jeez, man. This thing is massive. All right. That's all you, Bucks. I ordered a burger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the finished hot dog. Besides Ashley's bread, but it's, it's just it's just bread. bread. It's totally not yeah. even worth eating. Yeah. yeah, just bread. But I ate my side. I ate some of Ashley's side because she tapped out. But, man, this was such a good hot dog. Like, it was really good. If you look at mine, mine was, it's like super dry. Like there's are little, little bits. Yours had so much more sauce. Look at that. Don't, don't be hating on the hot dog. Just because mine was, my side was better. <laughs> Regardless though, this was a pretty tasty hot dog. I would say it's a pretty good buy considering if you split it between two or even three people. Get it, split it with some friends and enjoy some gigantic chili cheese hot dog. I think if you're trying to save some money, save some coin, this is definitely something that like you mentioned, if you're splitting it, because you and I were gonna get our own meals, and it was gonna be over like 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, exactly. But this was only $24.99 and we split it. Uh, so plus we tax, it came up to like 70, or like 70. And then we got a water. But yeah, oh, that's what it was. So with the water and the hot dog came up to like 32 bucks. Yeah. So still over $30, but regardless, this was a, such a good thing to invest in as far as food. Now it's time to go on the mazes. Something else that they have here that's really awesome is they actually have a Scoops Ahoy ice cream parlor. That's pretty tight. Let's see, they got exclusive uh, 11 waffle sundae, mind flares, milkshake, and just regular ice cream cones too. That's pretty awesome. But these guys with the chainsaws, man, they do not stop. They're just gonna zzzz. I'm gonna hear that in my dreams. We're gonna go ahead and do Killer Clowns, Creep Show, Ghostbusters, and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. And the last thing I think we're gonna do is gonna be Stranger Things. That's gonna be the last meme. Yeah. Then Jabberwockies. Oh yeah, we're gonna try and get catch the Jabberwockies too. Oh, okay. This is the one that I'm like uneasy about. Why? Because clowns aren't my favorite. So, so Ashley so says that clowns are not her favorite thing. But she said she's not gonna I'm get scared. Clowns, uh, so. What? All right, that's it. You're gonna walk by yourself. <laughs> what happened? But real quick, I did see a video of killer clowns from outer space from Florida. Uh-huh. That one didn't look too scary. Like, I don't know. It just didn't look scary to me. But, I mean, it, I could just be saying that because I wasn't physically there. Yeah. But I'm ready to... I'm ready to get scared. I'm ready to scream. I'm ready to... Oh, hopefully I don't look. Like, um, no, just to be honest though, like not that I'm like really scared of clowns, they just make me really uneasy. Like, like I'm never like, <laughs> like I'm never looking at one like, hi friend. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. But you know what? I love it. He doesn't scare me one bit. Except with the sharp when he has the sharp teeth. Mm -hmm. The, oh, well, the, original. the original. Yeah, the original. But that's the only thing in the entire movie. Other than that, I'm like. That's because he looks like a clown in the original. The new one, he doesn't really look like a clown. He looks like a demon. All right, so we're getting ready to head to the entrance. So we're gonna show you guys what's coming up next.
into the toxic tunnel. You're beautiful. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> There we go. Creep Show, Frankenstein meets Wolfman, and Ghostbusters. So, out of the three mazes, which one are you most uh, excited for? Even the Ghostbusters? Yeah? I don't know. I did see the Ghostbusters in Florida, and it looked really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a whole different area in the back lot. This is awesome. Of course, you never normally walk over here. So, the fact that you're actually walking in the street where the tram goes, this is really cool. I've never seen all the buildings up close. Oh, yeah, that, that was a really, that was like a really loud, what, what, what? <laughs> oh yeah, it just gives that 3D effect. I, just, I was kind of freaking out because I heard a lot of loud music for a second. Uh oh, is something gonna happen? Is something gonna happen, burp, burp, burp? <laughs> Not burp. <laughs> this one is Frankenstein and the Wolfman. So you wanna go ahead and hit that one first? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Now you can't really see, but this is a sign for the Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. It's 35 minutes right now, but we have our express pass, which lets us go in front of the line. So I think we're gonna go ahead and head to there now because it's time to see some of the old school monsters. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die at an early age because of that. Your heart. 
Yeah. Just pounded an extra 100 pounds. Like, look, feel my heart. Oh my god, Chris! <laughs> this is so fast mm. right now. I do want to mention that that was a really good maze. I got a good scare. The jump scares, like seeing you get scared from the jump scares and you screaming made me scream, made me get scared. But there was a couple of them where I was like, what scares me is when they're still and I'm like looking at them and they, they just come creepy. At you. Yeah. So definitely that was one of the scariest ones thus far. I think that was like my second favorite one or I don't even know. I'm, I'm losing track. We're probably going to have but, to rate them at the end. But that was up there. That was really good. <laughs> Next maze that we're going on is who are you going to call? <laughs> Ghostbusters! Pretty cool. That's so pretty cool. I think the next one we're gonna go to is Creep Show. So let's go check that out. Well, that 
was creep show and yeah. That was creepy. It, it was, was very, creepy. very creepy. So the name itself is perfect. A lot of jump scares. A lot of jump scares. We were, uh, yeah. <laughs> there was a there was a lot of times though where the timing was off on a lot of the jump scares. Yeah. Like I noticed, like sometimes they'd be like, Dah! and then nothing would happen, and yeah, then they'd like pop out. Yeah. So like sometimes the lights would all go off or the sound would go off, but there would be no actor right. or vice versa. Yeah. But regardless, I thought it was a pretty cool maze. That one was good. Yeah, that one. Uh, it was only it was very very hot in there. Like it was, so, and it was like hot. one of the longer ones. I think that was like six minutes for us to like walk really? through. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was recording for six minutes. Um, it was really hot. I think at one point I literally was like, I'm more like stressed out about how hot I am versus what's actually going on. Yeah. So. But regardless, I'd say if you had the opportunity to go to Creep, Creep Show, definitely do it. Definitely. Yeah, that, that was really good. Yeah, definitely like do it. it. So we're at All Hallows Evil. Ooh, look at that. Just finished All Hallows Eve, which is right there. It was uh, it was a scare zone set up like a maze. I I like that was to me that was the best scare zone yeah. that you can go to because you're like in your face, but you're still like confined to like a certain area. Yeah. Versus like if you're out in the open, like on a regular scare zone, you can just like run away. And this, I mean, you True. could run away, but it's dark. You might trip over something. You're gonna crash it's into a everything. Hazard. So I and I really like this one because the costumes were awesome. Yeah, the costumes like, are scary. I understand. And sometimes in the mazes, it's a little bit harder to go like all all out. But these ones had like awesome prosthetics and like the masks blood themselves. And masks and stilts. Oh yeah, that the stilts. Was, I, I think that one was one of my favorites so far. And it I really, was just a, it was just like a scare zone. I really like the way that was set out too because they spaced people out. So not everybody went in a big group. Yeah, we were by ourselves. Yeah, we were by ourselves for the majority of the of the uh, maze. Yeah. So we got 
scared a lot more because oh. more of the actors came to scare us. Definitely. So you got you got yeah. scared a lot. <laughs> when you, <laughs> when you have the opportunity to go on that, definitely do it. But go probably when the line's a little uh, shorter. It does yeah. go by fast, but just go when it's a little shorter. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for us uh, to hit our final maze. We're gonna be hitting Stranger Things. Now I know Ashley's super excited. I'm super excited. I personally don't know really what to expect, but I know this is the most anticipated maze. Right now the wait time is 75 minutes, but all I know is I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm beyond excited. Beyond? That's why we saved the best. Hopefully. Yes. This is the last maze. We saved the best for last. After this, we're gonna go watch the Jabberwockies. But right now, it's all about. What? What is this? Are, are you dancing? Yes. Let's go on the maze, Bucks. Time for Stranger Things. <laughs> Guys, we just finished the Stranger Things maze, and uh, I didn't like it. Really? I'm sorry. Like, it, like there was some parts that were cool, like yeah. the the jump scares. They were all right. There was, you know, I I don't know. Like, I felt See, like it was very lackluster. So I enjoyed it for the storyline and for someone who really loves Stranger Things to see it in person. I could see that when um, Will was like standing there with the um, with, oh, with the, the mind, mind flare. flare. That was awesome. Yeah, he's like, like, go away! Yeah, there was just a lot of cool parts. I really liked it for, again, the fanfare of it all. Do I think it was necessarily super scary? Not really, but I don't think it matters because anyone who loves Stranger Things can appreciate this maze. I really think the Demogorgons did it for me, though. Like, that's what's sort of scaring me. There are actually were no Demogorgons. I mean, Demodogs. Demodogs. And I have to say, for them doing a part for Stranger Things 3 in that maze... There was hardly anything that had to do with Stranger Things 3. The only part that I noticed that was actually relevant was the end where that like big monster came out that we mm -hmm. almost basically missed. And the part where they're in the cabin and the, and the monster was putting its tentacles to the, to the, the roofs uh, and stuff. Okay. But that was really it. Like There was so much more that happened in Stranger Things 3 that yeah. I feel like there could have been added. That's just my opinion, guys. I personally thought it could have been a lot better. I think this maze was meant to show people what it would feel like if they were in that show. Okay. I don't know. I, I, that's my I, I'll agree with you. I don't know. I think... I would say the Pandora's box is still probably the better one. Yeah, I, I agree with you. <laughs> that one was my favorite so far. But that is actually the last maze we have for today. So we did all of them. We did all the mazes, and uh, I think we're going to go watch the Jabberwockies now. And then after that, we're going to be finishing up the vlog. It is time for us to go watch the Jabberwockies. Let's go.
That was the Jabberwockies, guys. That was pretty cool. That was cool. I've never seen them live before. Uh huh. You've seen them in Vegas, right? Last time I saw them was on America's Best Dance Crew. I actually got to see them live, which was really cool. Look at that. <laughs> it looks. Oh, I thought it was like somebody for real. It was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I like how there was like interaction with the audience, which was really nice. Yeah. And it was just really cool to sit down and relax and like watch a cool show. Yeah, it was pretty I cool. Really I really like. I really like the lasers. Yeah. Like the lasers are really, Dude, really the cool. The laser show was. Awesome. <laughs> okay, everybody, that was our experience here at Universal Studios Horror Nights 2019. It was my first year ever attending a Horror Nights, and I that. had such a good time. A blast. A blast. Yeah. A blast. A blast to say the least. I had a, I had a blast too, but I had a really good time as well. Being able to experience this is 100% worth every single penny if you're gonna be paying for it. I would say the best thing that actually came with what we did today yes. was the Express Pass. We cannot express enough how much the Universal Express Pass is worth it. We know that the Express Pass is an additional cost, but if you have the money, it's 100% worth it. Chris and I got to do all of the mazes, all the, mazes. the show, we got to sit down and eat, yeah. and we never once felt stressed out. I'm so, worried about the line. Yeah, so if you are able to afford it, please think about it because that honestly is the only way you're gonna be able to experience everything. Now I wanna go ahead and move on to our favorite maze of the night. Yeah. There was a total of 10 that we did. Do you wanna include that scare zone mazes one? No. Okay, we wanna include that. But we included the 10 that we did, including the AMC one for The Walking Dead. I would say my top one has to be the Curse of Pandora's box. Same. Yeah? Same. I yeah. loved that one. I didn't feel claustrophobic. But... That, that, that sound. Oh, bum, the... bum. <laughs> I not once ever felt like super hot and like confined. I There was some room to like roam around. You could see everything. I loved how you could see the prosthetics and the monsters and the scares and the, the decorations. The I black light. loved that one. That one's my number one favorite. Yeah, I have to I have to 100% agree with you. Everything about that maze was probably just spot on because the jump scares, the black lights, the yeah. lighting itself, like you were able to see everything and enjoy everything without having to just wait for a jump scare. Right. Like you were able to actually enjoy everything else besides the jump scares. Yep. So I 100% agree. I think that was probably the best one. So if you're gonna go on any maze during this Halloween season, go on Curse of Pandora's Box. Number one. We do wanna give a special thank you to Universal for inviting us. Thank you guys. We had an amazing time. All of our thoughts and our opinions are our own and we hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, hopefully these videos are gonna help you guys kind of plan exactly what to expect, uh, what kind of scares to worry about, yep. and just uh, you know have an idea of what you're gonna be seeing here at Horror Nights in Hollywood. But that is all the time we have for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, turn on those notifications so whenever we upload a video or when we go live, you get notified. If you haven't already, make sure to check us out on Patreon. We always love the support that we get on there. Finally, if you're not following us on social media, everything's under It's The Duo with two O's. From Universal Studios Hollywood, Horror Nights 2019. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.